monopoly, economic profit, economic loss, and breaking even. Shown is a graph of a monopoly where D is equal to P, but it's not equal to MR, and we know that the monopolist's profit-maximizing quantity is 30 because that's where MR is equal to MC, and we know that the price is $7. Let's go ahead and put in an average total cost curve. You notice that average total cost starts to slope downward until it hits marginal cost, and beyond marginal cost, average total cost begins to climb. Marginal cost touches the average at its lowest point. Do you notice now that the price is above the average total cost at the profit maximizing quantity? This means that the monopoly is earning a profit. Let's go ahead and look at this graph. Notice that if the price is 7 and the quantity is 30, then the total revenue is $210. Because this is the average total cost at this quantity of 5, 5 times 30 is $150. And so you have an economic profit then of $60. So 210 in total revenue, 150 in total cost, and then this is the area of our profit, which is $60. Let's put in an average total cost curve where the firm is just breaking even. Do you notice that the average total cost curve at $7 is tangent to the demand curve? And then beyond that point, it still goes downward, but it's outside the demand curve, and the marginal cost touches the average at its lowest point. Nowhere is average total cost below the demand curve. Because it is tangent to the demand curve here at $7, we know that the monopoly is breaking even. Because we know that the total revenue is $210, you know that the average total cost is seven, and if the average total cost is seven, you can figure out the total cost, which is 210. And then the economic profit then is equal to zero. Again, total revenue P times Q is 210. The average total cost is seven. Seven times 30 is 210. That's the total cost. So the economic profit is equal to zero. Let's go ahead and put in an average total cost curve so it shows a loss. Average total cost starts to slope downward. Marginal cost touches the average at its lowest point. And you notice that the average total cost is above the demand curve at every single quantity. You know that the individual firm is going to produce 30 units because that's where MR is equal to MC, and the price is going to be 7, and so you know that the total revenue is 210. But at 30 units, the average total cost here is 8, and 8 times 30 is 240, and so the firm is earning a loss of $30. 210 in revenue brought in, 240 for its costs. The costs are greater than the revenue. It's an economic loss then of $30.